Get out. All right, guys, so this is a topic that is definitely overlooked when it comes to working on our hitting, but uh, it's probably the most important thing to tie all of the, your hard work you put in the off season and making sure that we apply them to our game situation. I always tell my lessons, it doesn't matter how much hard work we put in the off season, when it comes to the game, if we're swinging at bad pitches, we're not gonna be able to apply any of the changes we made and improvements we made in our swing if we're uh, swinging at pitches out of the zone. You will only be as good as the pitch you get. And you have to remember that it is very important. The pitcher has to throw the ball over the plate. Yes, you will get those calls that you don't agree with. Uh, you will get those calls right on the black of the plate that aren't good pitches to hit. That is completely fine. If you were forced to swing at those pitches, then we wouldn't have three strikes to work with. Okay, we have to utilize the entire at bat. We got to utilize all the pitches we get um, and are able to get in at bat to try to get the pitcher to throw the one we're looking for. When we walk up to the plate, there's a few things we want to do to help us pick out the right pitches to hit. So, starting off, what is the right pitch to hit? Well, this for me uh, is pretty basic. We want to stay on the fastball. The fastball is the hardest pitch that pitcher will throw. So it gives us the opportunity to react to a slower pitch. Okay, if we sit on slower pitches, we're not going to have the ability to speed up our hands to hit a fastball. We want to stay on the fastball, all right, but we got to pick what part of the zone do we prefer to hit in. So what I'm going to do to help explain what I do at the plate is I'm going to talk about my zones and my pitches that I like to look for and anticipate. That's a big word is anticipate. All right. We always want to anticipate the pitcher is going to throw our pitch in our zone. It makes us uh, ready to hit that pitch. It's our best pitch we could hit. So if we're ready to hit it, our odds of scoring that ball up go way up. We're going to have the ability to adjust just outside of that zone and anything that uh, gets further and further away from what we're looking for, our body starts to shut down and we don't swing. I typically look for the same pitch every time unless I'm later in the game facing the same pitcher that has the same tendencies. So usually I'll walk up to the plate looking for a fastball on the inside part of the plate. Okay, I like to pull the ball. That's where I do the most damage. So that's where I'll sit early in the count and hitters counts. Uh, for me now basically the way I approach the game is anything outside of two strikes for me is a hitter's count all right so even if he's gonna throw a fastball outside corner with if I have a one one count okay me as a hitter I will do more damage on a mistake left middle of the plate and sitting middle or middle in than trying to do something with that outside corner pitch just because I'm trying to avoid to get to two strikes. My box I'm looking for is about a four inch by four inch box in the zone. Now the plate is 17 inches wide, obviously four inches of that plate, that's a small portion of it, but that's fine. That's where I wanna sit in, okay? So I'm imagining when I'm sitting there before I step in the box, I'm picturing a ball out of his hand into that zone. I've done my homework on the on-deck circle. I know his arm slot, so I know what I'm looking for out of his hand. Now, from that point, I'm anticipating he is gonna throw it there. The whole time I step in the box, it's a absolute for certain he's throwing the ball right there. Okay, so that's the approach I want. I wanna be ready to hit, because the fact is, this is where it's really gonna help you guys if you struggle with picking out good pitches to hit. A lot of hitters, they will get too worried about picking out good pitches to hit. And what they do is they forget that they're getting ready to hit. Okay, so if you think about it this way, if I'm up there at the plate in my stance, and I'm like, okay, pick out a good pitch, pick out a good pitch. Now the pitcher lets go of the ball. Now I start winding up to hit. Now you're basically doing a bunch of things at the same time. You're loading, okay, you're striding, your head's moving, and you're trying to pick up the right pitch and determine whether it's the right pitch all in one motion. Way too many things for the human body to handle. 
All right, so what we have to do, and this is gonna all connect back into rhythm and timing, but we always want to get ready to see the pitch out of the hand. All right, we load to see the pitch. So if the pitcher's winding up, his arm's coming back, we're loading to see that pitch come out of his hand. ready to hit okay and then from that point now our body and our brains are only worried about picking up a good pitch because we already took care of the motion of getting ready to hit and now our head has very minimal movement at that point all right the most movement our head will have is this motion from our stance into our load you could see there my head's shifting after this is taken care of now there's barely any head movement here all right, so I want to try to get as close to that moment as he's about to let go of the pitch. All right, here, now I'm just looking for that good pitch, okay, and reacting. All right, that's, that's the thing. When we hit, it's all reaction, okay? We work so hard on our swing and thinking about our swing, thinking about our hands, thinking about staying inside the ball. Um, we think about all those things during batting practice, but in a game, you don't have time to think. You just react. So we do all those things to get our body in position to react better, okay? And it all starts with anticipating our pitch in our zone, and then when we load, we're loading to see the pitch out of the hand. It's definitely a part of our offensive training that I believe is, is well overlooked, okay? Is, is pitch recognition and choosing out good pitches to hit. So all right, you'll see those Vlad Guerreros and those Vlad Guerrero Jr. swing at uh, bad pitches and, and hit base hits, but <clears throat> the, the most damage they'll do are pitches that are in the zone. Those are the ones they drive out of the park. So uh, that's what this video is for. That's where you are going to really improve your game. If you're taking solid batting practices, you have a lot of natural power. Um, this is how you tie it into your game time situations, picking out better pitches to hit, but understanding that we're getting ready to see that all happen and anticipating that it's going to happen okay so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below it's pretty simple basic things here maybe a few things you aren't understanding or just aren't clicking again feel free to comment just ask me if you do have any questions um, we'll have another video posted here soon i hope you guys enjoyed keep working hard